<sighs> Sabo has a plan for Lulucia. Imu has a plan for Lulucia. Everybody has a plan for Lulucia. So here's what's going on. Sabo is not dead. Imu got finessed. The Gorose got finessed. And Sabo is playing 5D chess with them. Chapter 1060 had one of the craziest incidents in all of One Piece. Imu allegedly used Uranus to destroy Lulucia Kingdom. As far as we could tell, he just crossed it out on the map. And all of a sudden, laser beams come from above and wipe it off the face of the map. When did this happen? Why did this happen? From what we could tell, this happened right after Sabo called the revolutionaries from Lulucia Kingdom. And the way that the Gorosei responded was that Sabo has bad luck because they were about to destroy it anyways. However, think about it deeper. Is it truly bad luck? I don't think that's the case. And that line right there is exactly why I believe Sabo has a plan. Sabo himself said that he saw the king of the world. And when could he have seen the king of the world? It was probably back then when we saw him where the five elders asked him, which light should be extinguished? Sabo was probably hidden somewhere back there, listening in, witnessing the king of the world and he overheard him say Lulucia kingdom so they probably had the plan to destroy Lulucia kingdom all along Sabo overheard that and he was like I gotta go rescue them so what happens afterward is that Sabo leaves Marie Joie goes straight to Lulucia kingdom with that information evacuates all the citizens onto a nearby island calls from that island and says I'm at Lulucia kingdom on the date that Imu was about to destroy it not only does it save the citizens of Lulucia kingdom but it also gives Sabo an alibi of sorts the chance to fake his death. As much as we saw a genocide take place, let's be honest, this is Eichiro Oda, a man who's only willing to kill people in flashbacks most of the time. I'm looking at you, Ace. To summarize, Sabo was at the reverie. He heard Imu say, I'm gonna destroy Lulucia Kingdom. Lulucia Kingdom is the light that will be extinguished. Sabo overhears that. He's shocked that there's a king of the world. He's shocked about what's about to happen. Shortly after, Sabo makes it to Lulucia Kingdom. He evacuates everybody onto a nearby island. That way they don't get extinguished. Then he makes an un secured call, mind you, saying that he is at Lulucia Kingdom, knowing that Imu-sama is about to destroy it. Why would he do that? Because not only does he know that he can't stop what's about to happen, but that's an opportunity for him to fake his death. That way the Gorosei and Imu-sama are no longer after him. So briefly, what happens right there? Sabo fakes his death, and Sabo also manages to save all the citizens of Lulucia Kingdom. Simple. Also, as a bonus, Oda doesn't have to kill anybody, because you know how he always tries to avoid killing anybody. So let's be honest. The citizens of Lulucia kingdom are not dead it's really that simple it's not that complicated it's not some beam that sort of just made lulucia kingdom disappear and like absorbed it up into like another dimension it's not complicated sabo evacuates them they're gone they're gone they got out of there anyways the common question of the day is what happened to lulucia kingdom did it get zapped into another dimension or is it actually destroyed and are all these people dead please let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching like favor and subscribe have a good one